13 models of the Nissan Silvia has differently marked title as a K with the DS selection has now finally come to arrive in GT Sport for the updates. So this is definitely might be became a fully premiumized from Gran Turismo 5, but it is became very popular for this car. And this is going to be quite very good to be titled as a 1990 model. So this is going to be very good to begin for one good custom race. Now, take a good look at the settings that you may be seeing here. It's the max horsepower is 171, the max torque is 166.3, and the weight pound is 2,513, and, and the drivetrain is FR. So it is very good and the very best premium car ever that this is definitely might be able to have a good settings. And the transmission gear also include a 5-speed transmission. So this is definitely might be very good and one of the most popular iconic JDM cars in every Gran Turismo series because the classic Silvia S13 is the only one that has a premium car treatment. So this is definitely might be very perfect to be able to have two types of colors, three on the two tone and and the others are definitely has a very good standard colors that this is going to be very good. Now, looks like it's time to get ready to try out the Silvia Case DS selection. And now, this is going to be going on with some Japan racetrack. So, this is going to be very good to be categorized as an N200 car. Now, let's just going to go and get ready to race on to Super Circuit. So, this is going to be very good to be able to take a good nostalgia race. We might have the moment to come to do it. So, it's been fun. A while that this will be able to have this vehicle that this is going to be very excellent to be able to have a good classic interior view that this is definitely very iconic so this is definitely very good to have a library design ready because this is going to be quite very perfectly good to be able to have a race modification variant is definitely also include now looks like this is going to be able to going in to start and taking three laps by the time as usual so Let's just gonna be able to go in and this is gonna be able to get ready to take a grid start that this one might begin. Now this is gonna be very good to be able to race with N200 cars so this is gonna get everything will be excellent to be ready to go. Now I hope that this is gonna be quite perfect for all GT players who really want to try out this Nissan Silvia. This is definitely might be very cool and very classic that this will be very sure that this is going to be quite very good to be able to have any Nissan Silvia models like different generations so this is definitely might be very good like the other models so that should probably do perfectly better to get so let's just going to be able to change up the traction and this is going to be able to have one prep settings that this one might begin so I hope you and before you're really enjoying watching the video so please subscribe and comment and like on my YouTube channel so if you really want to see more so feel free to welcome anytime you want so this will might be able to have a lot of few segments of this videos that this will might able to enjoy now let's go and get ready to get started and let's begin for one good N200 race will begin but take a good look at this nice classic style interior so it also remains the same so very good that this is definitely might be very well chosen that Polyphony Digital is definitely chose the S13 Silvia to be able to have a first ever premium car that this is definitely might be able to go in. So it drives well. So it will might be able to drive faster. It will might need to be able to have some good settings will be required. So let's just gonna be able to make sure that this is gonna be a very good choice that this is definitely might be very excellent like any other Nissan Silvia S13 models that also uses as a standard model. So it is definitely might be very good choice that this is definitely one of the starter cars from Gran Turismo 1. So it will might do perfectly well that this will might be able to have plenty of good recommend settings that this will might be able to have some good credits to be able to use. Now let's just gonna be able to go past in. So it looks like the Alfa Romeo 4C is on the first place on the lead. So Let's see how this is going to be able to take a good challenge that this is going to be able to keep up to be able to go on to do it. Now it's going to get very 
standard skill that this is what my coming in to be able to get. So this is going to get everything a lot of faster skills we might be able to keep going on to do it. Okay, looks like. So this is definitely very good to be able to have one of the five iconic JDM cars to be welcome as an N200 category. Just like the Honda S2000 AP1 model 1999 joins in for the race, so this is definitely might be very good to be able to see that one of the Japan vehicles could probably be able to take on the Alfa Romeo 4C, but it is a very strong challenge that this is going to be able to drive faster to be quick. Now, looks like this is going to be able to going on to take three laps around the track, so this is going to get very longer we'll be able to take on to do it. So, just going to be able to have a first test that this one might be able to try it out to do it. Okay, there we go. Just going to pass the Toyota MR2 and then the Ferrari Dino is definitely going on to be able to catch up. Now, it is definitely like other Nissan Silvia models, so looks like the S13 is definitely might be the very good retro classic car. It has definitely putting up a, with a special title with the diamond selection, so that should be quite very good special for the Silvia K, that this one might be quite very good to be able to have a good specialized vehicle to be putting in, so this is definitely might be very good popular design version, and this is definitely might be well chosen. Now, looks like this is going to be a bit of the going in, and then looks like the final lap is going to be on the way, so just going to be able to practice hard to be able to get there. So, alright, so take a good look on the Monster Roaster Touring Car to be seen pass by, so that might be getting closer to be able to take on the Alfa Romeo 4C. It is going to get very challenging to be able to work faster it gets. Very competitive to be able to have a standard road car versus touring car is going to be going in to get. Now, looks like going to be able to go pass in onto the Lancia Stratos. This is going to be able to get closer. Alright, going to have to take the third place finish and now this is going to get everything going to be able to take it all to be able to have it in for. So, maybe this is definitely might be standard light handling. So, maybe this is definitely might be very good to see it. So, well, can I say that this is definitely might be a very good interior style that this is going to be able to take plenty more style to be able to have a detail for it. So, this looks definitely remains the same from the PS3 era. So that looks definitely might be very perfect that this is going to be able to have any GT players would like to try it out again. All right, looks like this is going to be going well and going, earning up to be able to stack up some more mileage is definitely might be going on. So hope this is going to be able to keep trying to be able to go faster as much as possible. Now, Let's just gonna go on and take on for the next track. So this is gonna get everything a lot of moment to be able to have a nostalgic effort that this one might come in to do it. So maybe this is gonna be able to go and race on in Fuji Speedway. So this is gonna get everything plenty full course that this is gonna be able to coming in. So now I hope that this is gonna be be very tougher that this one might be able to go advance to be able to be ready. So probably that this is definitely might be the first S13 Sylvia was definitely titled as as a 1988 as definitely titled as the 1800cc as also displacement so that was definitely titled as a K model so the other letter type models of the S13 Sylvia is the Q model. So this is definitely might be able to show the difference whenever you're going to have to read on the GT Wiki of Fandom to be able to explain about the brand. So it will be able to show the difference. All right, let's go and get ready to race number two on Fuji Speedway. And now this is going to be perfect for the S13 Sylvia to be able to take a lot of good speed to be able to come race up. So just like taking a good challenge on the Color 11, to be able to deal with the Alpine A110 1600S. So maybe this is going to be able to take plenty of good turns that this is going to be able to go smoothly in as possible. Well, very good to be able to have a 
Sports Car Tires that this will be good suitable for the F13 Sylvia. So that might be very good sporty type that this is going to be able to going into competitive is going to be able to be ready for. Now let's just going to be able to take plenty more turns to be able to pass all the cars and this will might be on the way to be able to get in. Now just going to have to take one good right turn overtake is going to be able to going in but this is going to be able to deal with some modern cars that this is going to be able to go in. Alright, now this is going to be going well, going fast, and now this is going to be able to catch up onto the Alfa Romeo 4C. This is going to be able to take regularly standard performance run that this one might be do perfectly that this one might have. But even that's a good choice that this one might be able to have a good upgrade that this one might make it faster and lighter that this is going to be able to keep going on to be able to get. So that should be very good to be able to upgrade the Nissan Silvia by using the mileage points. So looks like that should be able to good enough to be able to be ready for the fast moment to come. Now it's just going to go in and pass on the Renault Sport Celio 220 EDC. Just gonna have to go on that apex to be able to have that right here and now moving on to be able to go on the last turn onto the hill, hillside terrain is gonna be able to come closer it gets. Now this is gonna get everything closer it gets that this is gonna be able to get a longer speed to be able to take the turns to get. But it is gonna be able to take longer that this one might be able to have the long length distance to be able to deal with. So. Hope this is going to be able to going in, so always going to be able to have a good three lap challenge that this will be as usual, we might be able to be ready for it. Now, looks like going to have to take 125 miles, and now this is going to be able to have to reach the limit on to 127. So, this is going to be able to going in to be able to take. Looks like the Monster Roadster Touring Car is going to be able to go faster again, so have to be able to catch up. Okay, and going in and make a good overtake on the MR2. Okay, very good. Now this is going to be to stay closer, to stay steady on this one. We're going to have to go maneuver in and then pass three of them, including the S2000. Now looks like that was complete close call. And now this is going to be able to go in. All right, yellow Lencia Stratos are now definitely in second place. Gonna have to be on in to catch up to it because this is gonna be able to get longer. We'll be able to take. Okay, almost there. Just gonna have to be able to take at that chicane. All right, now this is gonna be able to take a little bit more closer time to get. Okay. Be able to take one good speed distance on the path. I hope this is going to get very excellent. We might be able to take the turns, we might go in. Okay, looks like getting closer to the Alfa Romeo 4C. This is going to be able to take the challenge for the Sylvia S13 DS selection. This is going to get everything, we'll be ready. So, just going to be able to drive fast and quick. So it's going to be able to take 1.7 gap distance away, so the 4C still got plenty of horsepower that this one might go get away from my current position. So that will might take the effort, will might go the motivation, will might do it. So won't back down. This is going to be able to take the rush, will might get everything seriously, will be ready. So third and final lap is on the way, so let's go for it. This is going to get everything will be prepared to be able to take a lot of speed to go faster. We'll be able to keep up. Okay. Just going to take that turn and then just going to go on the hard right. Okay, stay on it. Just only has to take a few more gaps and now this is going to be able to take the advantage that this one might be able to find the spot we might go in. But always going to be able to have a new ride. It's going to be able to take on current vehicles will might go in so this is gonna get everything longer will might take okay going in and now this is gonna be able to take one good pass hope that 4c is definitely might be able to keep up all right 
S13 Sylvia takes the lead and now this is going to be good. Now this is going to get very challenging strategy for this moment folks so hope this is going to be able to have a blocking position that's going to be able to go in. Now looks like this is going to be able to take gap distance behind Will Mike go in. But every time in every race standard vehicles could take on the most vehicles could be able to take the higher challenge we might be able to do regularly that this might go in as possible. Now this is going to get very epic to be able to go in. Now let's just going to go on the hill side elevation to lane and now this is going to be able to get in there. Alright that should do it. Now going to have to take 1.5 gap distance to be able to go and there you go take that long final stretch and now this is going to be the hard one folks the 4th D is going to make a run running overtake so has to be able to intervene to be able to save this position but this is going to get very closer in to be able to get in by taking a radar we might check in for okay looks like taking on that checker flag and there you go now this is definitely a risk race for this car, folks. Always keep going faster and now just going to be able to take a long good turns that this is going to be able to go in. So I kind of say that this is definitely might be very good different cars that this will be well chosen. So if there's another Sylvia is now in the race that this will might be able to go on for. Now looks like very good earnings and now this is going to be able to have 1,926,000 credits is now going to be able to well stacked up on this one. So let's just going to be able to go for one more course of the race. And this time, this is going to get everything will be prepared. So I hope this is going to be able to choose one good track that this will be ready. So, well, I guess that this is going to be able to go on and race on Suzuka Circuit East course. So that will might do the perfect way to be able to get. So... Let's go and get ready for the third and final round and this won't be easy to be able to take the challenge. Well, sometimes that every car can also take the challenge. So maybe this is going to be able to have the best option choice that this will might be able to use the different sports compound tires. So I hope that this is going to be another round. So hope we might be able to take the challenge. We might get everything ready. So always try to keep up. It will might do the best we can for any JDM cars that this one might go iconic popular that this one might have the moment. So let's go with soft tires and now this is going to be able to be ready for one good excellent race to begin. So here we go. This is going to be a one good excellent race challenge that this will begin. Now this is going to be able to take the little three lap risk that this will be made. So everything is going to be able to get closer to get. So looks like the Pontiac 5 for Trans Am is now tipping in 19th place. So just going to be able to go in and make a good spot. And then just going to be able to take everything. We'll have to take stroke of pass. We'll go on. Okay. Just going to be able to pass on that Mini Cooper S. Well, getting a little bit struggle going on that this is going to be able to get there. Okay, let's go squeeze it in. This is going to be able to take a little bit harder turns to be able to get there. Alright, this is going to get everything excellent. Now, it's going to be very good short track that this is going to be able to go in. Very sporty competitive and now this is going to be able to take the hard risk we might be able to get made. Now looks like I'm going to have to go on in the second lap. So hope this is going to be able to take a little bit closer in to be able to get. Okay. Fifth gear is definitely might be going efficient that this will might take the good skills for it. So going to have the very efficient handling made that this is going to be able to go stronger it gets. Okay, looks like the MR2 is about to be able to overtake on the Honda S2000. Looks like this is going to get everything well turned to be able to get there. 
Well, always going to have to stay struggle that this is going to be able to have a tough race. Will Mike go in? Okay, Ferrari, Ferrari Dino goes in, and now this is going to be able to take the rest of the cars. Will Mike go faster, I guess, and then the Mazda Roadster Touring Car is the only one that might be able to dominate this e-course e -course layout since the time trial. All right, passing on that Lancia Stratos, and now this is gonna be able to take one lap by the wrist, folks. But even that this is gonna be able to have a good race complete to be able to go in, so it's gonna get everything a lot of faster times to be able to go there. All right, gonna have to go dived in. Just gonna be able to make it a little bit better to get there, so this is gonna be able to take on. Will Mike get in to be able to have a short distance? Alright, getting there. This is gonna be able to take a little bit easy turns that this is gonna be able to come in. Alright, there you go. Just getting there and now this is gonna be able to take a little bit more turns to get on. Alright. Well, good thing that was definitely might be very good. So well, I kinda say that the Taking a little bit visual effect of the damage that this is definitely might be getting a little bit cracked up on it. So, well, that should be very good for having a nice race. So maybe it will be able to do the best that this will always to stay clean on this race. So good thing that every car also has a visual damage that this will might see. So, well, it is very enhanced for the Sylvia. So this is definitely might be a very good special JDM iconic car that this will might give the good motivation. So. Very good for having a good clean race bonus and now this is going to be able to be ready for having a good moment that this one might be able to happen in for. But I kind of say that JDM cars always drive the best that this one might go regularly to be able to take the standard. So that should be quite very good for the Sylvia K Dia selection should also have a nice library variance is definitely might be very good to do it. So. That was a very good N200 race for Dia Selection for an S13 model that this might take the challenge. We'll always get keeping up to be able to go faster and doing the best skills we we'll might do the best we can. So this will be the best car that this will be very well chosen for, for the August 2019 update folks. So this is definitely a very good diamond selection of the Nissan Silvia case which is definitely might be designed in 1990 is definitely might be very good for one good special model that this is definitely might be very good unique for a single premium car that this is definitely might be going faster that this will might be able to take good regular performance will might do the best way we can and even the library variance is definitely might be available to be able to see some good moments to see it so that would be so awesome to be able to have a good race modification variants that also has different rim styles as well. So this is definitely might be very cool and this is definitely might be very excellent that there's any more Nissan Silvia models that this will be able to come in GT Sport later on in the next update. So well in the next vehicle so this is definitely might be able to going on to be able to to try out with the Honda S2000. So this is going to get everything will be ready to go until this will might be able to have the moment to be able to continue on for trying out some new vehicles whenever there's any chances to get. All right, folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and bell for notification uploads in the links on the description down below if you want to see more. I'll be seeing you guys next time for continuing on on the custom race on Gran Turismo Sport and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool.